Hi, I'm Ellie from Natural Balance Health and Fitness and welcome to my two months postnatal fitness blog. Well, I am proud to report that I am up to six kilometres in run distance as I intended last month. So I've just been adding on an extra kilometre every week, uh, but that hasn't been without its challenges. Two of my runs have had to be replaced by visits to the chiropractor and the physio. Basically when I got to four kilometres in run distance, I got this uh, ongoing pain on the insides of my knees. It was quite relentless and I knew that I wouldn't be able to continue running with it. You're not supposed to get joint pain when you run and if you do then there's a sign that something's wrong. And just from my experience as a health and fitness professional, I know that the hip joint moves in all directions and because of the nature of this, that often when there's a pain at the knee it's something to do with what's going on at the hip. So uh, often the the knee pain is the symptom and not the cause. So I went to the physio and sure enough I've got weak uh, glute muscles and they're also very tight, so that's my buttocks. So I've been sent away with lots of boring exercises to do on a daily basis. But the pain in my knees and the activities that this pain could potentially stop me from doing is definitely enough motivation for me to do these exercises. And I can't stress enough <laughs> the importance of actually doing physio exercises that have been prescribed to you. Uh, I've had plenty of clients in the past who have been to see physios and have only done the exercises for a few days here and there and then given up on them. Uh, but they're a really important part of the rehab process. So I will continue to do those. And along with that, I've been doing so my two runs per week two walks per week with Ayla and two yoga sessions which I've gone back to the studio for. I feel like my body's making progress uh, but just kind of feels like slow progress sometimes. It's been a good thing for me to do photos every month and to do these blogs because that's how I've actually realised that I have been making progress and in this past month I've lost five centimetres off my stomach even though a few people have still commented on my pregnancy throughout the month. So my first two visits back to the yoga studio um, showed two different receptionists commenting on my pregnancy. So my, well, my pregnancy. So the first visit, the first receptionist said, oh, it must have been hot for you yesterday. And I said, no, why is that? And she said, well, because you're pregnant. And I said, I'm not pregnant. And she just, oh. Second visit, the second receptionist held his belly and he looked at my belly with sincere concern and said, so how are you doing? And I said, fine thanks, how are you doing? I forgive them, they're still my favourite yoga studio but I have been going to see them for about two years and I've been going regularly enough that they know, I mean they know me enough to recognise me so the last time that I saw them I was 36 weeks pregnant and I was huge. So in my mind it just does take a little bit of think before you speak. So my fitness has been going really well in general though and in addition to my runs, my walks and my yoga I've completed a swim, a bike ride, a boot camp session and a paddle boarding lesson as well. Now a lot of people have sort of mentioned to me that isn't it too early to be running at just two months postnatal or I mean I started at one month postnatal. Well my take on this is that there's a raft of different hormones going through the postnatal fitness body that require care to be taken and perhaps if I'd never run before then running now may be, may be a little bit early for me to get started but because I have done it previously I do feel ready to do it. Um, I believe that's okay. Uh, as long as I take care. And it's just got to be stressed that I'm not sprinting at all. 
Okay, so I'm running incredibly slowly. When uh, before I was pregnant, I was running six minute kilometres comfortably, and now I am dragging myself along at seven and a half minute kilometres. And I couldn't even sprint if I wanted to, or if I tried. And believe me, I have tried. <laughs> uh, so same with the boot camp session as well. I managed about half of it, so I skipped out any extreme sprinting base activities. Uh, any heavy loading activities and most of the abdominal stuff. So I just did like the body weight exercises, jogging instead of sprinting, push ups on my knees, and things like that. Now I have purchased myself a nip tuck belly band, which does hold things together quite nicely. So I just thought I'd let you know that so that you can be at least a little suspicious uh, when every, every celebrity in the world seems to pop back into their pre pregnancy shape. Uh, within weeks of giving birth but that just helps me to feel a little bit better in certain items of clothing when I go out and about. So over the next month I'm going to get up to 10 kilometres in run distance and I'm going to replace one of my walks per week with a regular boot camp session. So it'll be two runs, a boot camp session, a walk and two yoga sessions. And I'm also going to enter the 20 week challenge which I will tell you about next time. So to finish up, here's a quick look at my belly. As I said, I've lost 5 centimetres in the past month, but I still have 10 centimetres to go. So thank you for watching my postnatal fitness blog. I'm Ellie from Natural Balance Health and Fitness, and I'll catch you at the three-month mark. Cheers.